Hey guys, it's Phil with Saris Landscaping and I'm sitting here with somebody very, very special. This is the future of Saris Landscaping. Tell everybody your name. This is Nico Landscaping. Nico with Saris Landscaping. Today I want to just give you one quick bit of information. Behind me is a brand new Zorro Zoysia Sod Lawn. And we are going to water this in really heavily because we want to get some moisture to it quickly as the day goes on and as it starts to dry out we want to make sure it gets nice and moist. Once this grass gets wet we're going to be able to roll it to a very smut, flat smooth finish. But one thing I want to point out to you about Zorro Zoysia is there's a lot of confusion in the industry about the different sod types and about uh, all the different names of Zoysia. So to clear up some of the confusion there's two basic kinds of Zoysia wide blade and narrow blade. Wide blade, coming what most commonly referred to as Meyer Zoysia sod, which has been around for years and years. Narrow or thin blade, Emerald Zoysia sod, which has been around for years and years. Everything, every type of sod, Zoysia sod that's out there is some sort of genetic modification of either a wide blade or a narrow blade. I tend to prefer narrow blade uh, Zoysia sod, as well as apparently Nico does too. And I want to show you this up close. This is a narrow, thin blade, fine, Zoysia uh, sod. It's a genetic modification of the emerald seed and the reason they modify it is one because it allows universities to get research grants and agricultural grants to improve upon the original design of the seed. Uh, more often than not they're successful with that although uh, throughout history and throughout time there have been some cultivars that have been very unsuccessful. In this case we're using Zorro Zoysia sod which has been very successful. It, it's far more shade tolerant than traditional emerald zoysia sod and it's also going to uh, give us a little bit more disease resistance. This is a beautiful, beautiful product and lawn. This is considered a premium turf grass. If you walk on this with your bare feet, it is absolutely like carpet. And of course, your kids are gonna love playing in the yard with it. So if you're looking for, to make a choice about all the different zoysias, I will say this, you really can't go wrong with zoysia, whatever you pick. However, for more shade, for shadier areas, go with a narrow or a fine blade. For sunnier areas or in full sun applications, you probably want to go with a wide blade. Emerald, the thin blade, and Meyer, the wide blade, are tried and true. They've been around forever. So do a little bit of homework if you're going to choose a cultivar outside of that or just call Sarah's Landscaping. Have a great day. Thank you.